Welcome. I'm Dr. Liza Long, and in this presentation, we're going to review some ways you can use generative artificial intelligence tools for academic research. First, it's important to have a basic understanding of how large language models like ChatGPT work. They are not Google searches. Instead, it can be helpful to think of them as applied statistics. Basically, AI makes stuff up. We call this hallucination, and it's a common feature for all chatbots. Paid versions of ChatGPT, Gemini, and Claude give you access to deep research tools that are more likely to generate actual sources, and you can use research-specific tools like Elicit, Perplex Perplexity AI, or Stanford Storm, but always verify that the source is real and that it actually says what the chatbot says it does. One of the most obvious ways I can tell a student has used ChatGPT is when the sources are fake. So how can we use AI tools? Always check with your instructor first, but if you have permission, consider using them as thought partners to brainstorm ideas and have conversations about the research question. You can also use these tools to generate a list of key terms for precision searching in your library's database. Here's an example of a prompt you could try with any chatbot. Wouldn't it be nice if an AI tool could read all your sources for you? No, actually, it wouldn't be nice. Do not outsource your first read of an article to AI. You'll never get another chance to bring your unique set of questions, ideas, and experiences to the text. And the AI might make stuff up. Always be skeptical and don't deny yourself that first read. However, once you've skimmed the article yourself, I recommend using AI tools like Google's Notebook LM, Cloud Projects, or ChatGPT projects to organize your sources. Notebook LM will even make a podcast of your sources for you. One note of caution, as a writing teacher, I'm seeing an awful lot of flat, boring, dare I say robot writing these days. We train students to write like robots and now the robots can write. But really, this is an exciting time for human writing because you can forget about grammar and work on your authentic voice. This humanness is what sets writing apart in the age of AI. Don't let AI steal your voice, but do let AI tools be peer reviewers. If you have your instructor's permission, you can use the research paper rubric to assess your final rough draft with any AI tool. Ask the chatbot to provide a thorough review based on the rubric. You will probably get some good advice, but remember, you're the writer and you get to decide. I don't know that we will always be acknowledging our AI use. Very few of us acknowledge spell check when we use it, but for now, I think it's important for students and instructors to be transparent about AI use. Here's a template I use for my students. Oh, we've covered a lot of ground here. If you choose to use AI tools, remember to verify any information or sources they give you. Try using AI as a thought partner to focus your ideas. Don't outsource your first read to a chatbot. Use AI to organize your sources. Have AI be a peer reviewer. And finally, be transparent and acknowledge your AI use. Always remember to be the human in the loop and you'll be able to use AI tools effectively as powerful research assistants to make your work better. Happy prompting and as the kids say, don't forget to like and subscribe.